What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rudis and on this channel we talk about crypto, NFT, stock market, everything that you need to know. And right now we're going to be talking about Terra Classic, okay? And why this could possibly 100x in the near future because of Binance. Now, like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and guys, I want you to comment down below, what do you think of Terra Classic? What is your price prediction? I'm seeing a lot of people say 10 cents. Uh, some people in my comments are saying a dollar. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, let's get right into what exactly is going on, guys. So we can see uh, right here, Luna Classic uh, hasn't really done much when it comes to, uh, I guess, today's uh, price action. We can see... Uh, barely any movement uh coin market is saying up four percent but it, it really hasn't really it really hasn't done much okay uh terra classic usd however has dropped a lot which is not looking too good honestly guys it it, it sucks right uh they're down 24 percent and you guys gotta be very very careful with terra classic usd uh, i did say in multiple videos i don't think this is the play right if you really want to gamble you want to be an absolute degen go for it go for terra classic usd but i think the play right now could be banking on a binance burn <coughs> and banking on Terra Classic because we know in my last video if you guys watched that people are building okay there are NFT projects being made on the Terra blockchain so people are still building on the classic blockchain so that's one thing to know another thing to know is the overall crypto market as a whole guys we're not looking too good okay if I'm being honest I think this weekend is going to be an absolute bloodbath I think we're going to see 19k maybe even 18k Bitcoin I think we're going to just see terrible stuff in the markets okay now this is everything right Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, a lot of stuff is crashing. Uh, and we also know that uh, a couple of days ago, Terra Classic was literally pumping like crazy, even though the market was shitting itself. So uh, we might still see Terra Classic maybe pull off and have a little bit of a rally, but let's be real, overall sentiment not looking too good. Now, I want to show you guys this. Now, you guys are probably wondering, Reese, why are you showing me a petition? Because petitions are pretty stupid. The reason I'm showing you guys this is last year in crypto, if you were in crypto, we remember last year, a lot of tokens were using petitions not to actually make progress, but to just do massive marketing campaigns. For example, Example, there was uh, petitions for uh, Robinhood to list coins like Shiba Inu, uh, SafeMoon, Dogecoin. All these petitions were just going crazy and crazy and crazy, and a lot of people were talking about them. Now, like I said, this petition isn't really going to do anything, right? Let's be real. There's only 203 people that have signed up. Even if this petition blows off and goes completely viral, nothing is going to happen because of a petition. Petitions are mainly used as marketing, like I guess marketing ways, right? So. Binance, um, from what I've seen and read, I want to make a whole dedicated video for this. So guys, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, right? Make sure you guys do that. Subscribe right now. If you're watching this video, subscribe. What I'm going to do is make a whole dedicated video to Binance and how much Luna Classic they have and what would happen if they actually burnt all their Luna. Now, I think Binance would be <coughs> like, they're not going to do it for no reason, right? Like if they do it, they're going to understand it's a huge marketing thing uh, and it's going to be a massive PR stunt. But what they do need to understand is would that actually make sense for them, right? We've got to understand Luna Classic, this is a business, right? And Binance isn't going to just burn everything and just get rid of all their Luna Classic just for the sake of doing it, right? So I'm going to make a whole separate video on that. So guys, make sure you guys are staying tuned for that. Another thing I want to show you guys as well uh, is this Luna Burn Tracker, which like, it, let's be real, guys. They've only burnt $214. Uh, I, I, I'm not too sure where like this is all coming from, but it's not looking too good. Okay. Uh, this type, these type of burns aren't really going to do anything. Um, like nothing is going to happen if they're just burning hundred dollars a time, right? We need massive, massive burns. And I think that is going to happen. I think all that is going to start. So we're just going to have to wait and see how that all goes. Now guys on Twitter, if you guys have any other resources or anything else you guys want me to share with the community, let me know, tweet at me, follow me on Twitter uh, and let me know any other articles or whatever you guys want me to mention. I'll be sure to do that. Also in the comments down below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if there's anything I should talk about as well. That would be a great now guys. Whew. Let's see what happens this weekend. We're going to have a pretty interesting weekend, I think. So let's see what happens. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Like I said, comment down below what is your Luna Classic price prediction. And until next time, guys, remember, stay seeking success.